<laughs> my name is Paper Tech and I make music. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my song High. I actually wrote the, the verse before I even made the beat. There's a spot in Pittsburgh called Mount Washington and it's got a pretty dope view. You can see the whole skyline and everything and I was thinking of that sort of vibe. So I was like, how do I make that in music? Let me show you. some uh so this sound is just a little keyboard but that's just reversed and i think it was something in the atmosphere but i just reversed it and then for the for the little chop for that chop i took like a sample of the keys pitched it up and added like delay to it so it's like it like i literally just like sampled myself for that sound if that makes any sense so then I brought back, this is actually the original chords that I played and then reversed. So basically, it kind of adds them together. It's like an in and then out, in and then out. And then with this on top, it kind of create, this is like the basic sound and it all comes from just one keyboard. Next, I added some drums. And uh, I wanted to make something trippy, like I didn't want it to be like, like you know, basic ass trap drums. The one thing I did that I think may have thrown some people off was put the snare, put it like off beat. Like I'll show you. So it should be like, but it's the last, that, the last one is a little bit delayed. I added a little bit of uh, delay to that. And so it kind of adds like a little bit more kind of a trippy effect added some hats. Here's what they sound like with it. They're kind of like, they're kind of like trickly, you know, if that makes sense. It's, it's kind of like, like rain falling. I don't know. That's what I thought of. So like that, that basically was enough for me to be like, okay, these lyrics work with this beat. And I rapped along with it and I was like, that works. Like it doesn't need anything else for it to work. So basically everything I added after that was like progressional, like, like leading up until the drop. I added this uh, little thing in the background. This is an atmosphere sound as well. Kind of adds a little bit more color. So like at this point, all the all like the the instruments have this kind of like full trippy sound. And and I really thought and like that really reminded me of Mount Washington. Like it kind of reminded me of like a late night, uh, just like 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 I don't want to say vibe because that sounds generic. But you know, it's vibe. I added. <laughs> It's very subtle, but it's just it just adds a little bit more color in there. So that comes in when the when the when the vocals come in and the drums come in. Then I added the piano. It's just like the chords that I was playing up above. There's a little bit of delay in there, you can kinda hear it. When it's kinda there's like a lot of like high pitch, it's like Oh, like like you feel it now, like like it's like it's like like it's got body now, like it's got warmth, and yeah, I think it really works. After that, then I added this guitar, and um, this guitar I can't really play guitar, um, so it's not a real guitar, but I threw a bunch of amps on it, and it started to sound like a real guitar. It, it literally was a synth bass from Omnisphere, like it wasn't even a guitar preset. I wanted it to be epic, like like the song is supposed to be epic of sorts, because like the view up in Mount Washington is pretty epic. So <laughs> I added something epic and I was thinking, okay, like, you know, all that like 80s music that's just like really super dramatic and stuff, it has that like big loud ass crunchy guitar that's just like driving the song home. So I was like, okay, what if I added that? And I did. On top of that, I added a um, little 808 to give it, give it a little meat. I don't know if you can, I don't even know if this is going to pick it up, <laughs> but, uh, it's just like, it's just like something nice and simple. It adds a little bit more body to it. So like the progression then. Then the drop comes, nothing really gets changed except for the drums. So it's just 
it's like it's like I know I said I was trying to avoid generic trap drums um, in the beginning. I kind of brought that back because I thought the song like it builds, it builds, it builds, and then it needs to like go. It can't just be like like this song is supposed to be a banger too. Like it's not supposed to be something that's just like like a chill song. Like it's supposed to be like oh shit. Like when that hits, it's like oh shit. So like that's why I added those drums in there. And then yeah, that's how I made the song.